At Alora, the Grand River flows into a gorge of limestone cliffs. Because the river is the primary water supply for the urban areas of Kitchener, Waterloo, Cambridge, and Brantford, Ontario, the Shan Dam releases a necessary minimum flow all year round. This is Southern Ontario's only good whitewater canoe teaching location, as the Minden Whitewater Preserve is roughly 250 kilometers away, and the Madawaska River five hours away. There are two practical ways of reaching the river, and two impractical ones. The easiest is to pay an entrance fee at the main gatehouse, then drive around to the north side and rear entrance of the Alora Gorge Conservation Area. Park in Area G and follow the signs to the tubing launch site, which is at the chute. The most physically demanding is to drive to Victoria Park in Alora and descend the 60 concrete stairs leading most of the way to river level. Yeah, that's okay. I'm not too... <laughs> you can, yes, you can do that. Oh, yeah. And there's a really fancy canoe down there. Is there? <laughs> the remaining distance of roughly 20 meters is on uneven and highly sloped riverbank. It is then 150 meters of wading down Irvin Creek to reach the cove. When there is sufficient water, it is an option to run the Tooth of Time Falls. This will place you amongst a very small and highly courageous group of open boaters. Consider whether you enjoy falling down a long flight of stairs. There is sufficient water in Irvin Creek perhaps five times annually. However, on appropriate occasions, paddlers have driven from hours away in all directions to run the mill dam and triple drop. As of 2022, there is no public access to the cut. While running the river, expect to have an audience. There are also many tubers, especially on summer weekends. The Alora Gorge is roughly three kilometers long and most outings end at the low bridge, which is also the tubing exit area. There is the option of continuing downstream, of course, but there are no rapids. A basic consideration needs to be made that this is a narrow gorge of tall cliffs. There is a rapid approximately every 200 meters and for many there is no possibility of portaging. Be prepared to attempt all of them, otherwise there are no other means of escape. Every outing should begin with a visit to the base of the Tooth of Time Falls and warm-ups in the pool below. Simply for clarity, the rapids have been numbered, though there is no formal documentation of features. And then we'll point the nose to the right and we'll paddle forward as much as necessary to stay off of the overhang. Okay, so paddle forward. On the right side, yeah. Well done. Very smooth.
Oh, he's going the old track. Woohoo! Okay, let's slow down. The chute is the only feature requiring serious safety precautions. After the initial ledge, the slot is deep with no obstructions. Many kayakers have descended upside down and injuries in the gorge are rare. Posting a safety boat is a good idea, at least to aid swimmers and pick up the yard sale.
No problemo.